We are a very evening our dear viewers, our friends, people who support us like every day, every Thursday and the Sunday that you make sure that you are tuned in. Today we are going to be talking about uh, contraceptives, but of course, especially the emergency pills. What do you know? What do I know? We have few people, young people, beautiful young girls, looking energetic, you can see them. <laughs> they are advocates. Some are students, they are still studying, they are making sure that maybe they are securing the future. Yeah. And welcome for the show. Contraceptives are human rights. When you read the books, when you look at the UN, that's what it says. But how many people know that it's a human right? But and and how do you use these contraceptives? Is a, is a sexually productive advocate. I think she has been advocating for sexually productive for some good time, maybe a year and a half. She's going to be talking about the misconceptions, she's, talking, she's going to be talking about the, maybe the advantages and the disadvantages of using it and do you know what the contraceptive you're supposed to use, where are you supposed to go. And really the student at the Makere University. Uh, she has okay. She has joined the advocacy. She joined the advocacy. I think this year, not three months, not more than three months. But she's passionate about it. She's also going to be. She's, she will share the experience about these contraceptives. She had had the conversation from the friends talking about the emergency piece, maybe the postinas. Uh, after maybe unprotected sex, that's what you can use. And, she, and she's like, yeah, I can share the experience and today, okay, today she's, she will give us the, that conversation, that experience and what the campus has, especially girls, say. You know, they, they are back at campus and they are doing their coursework and everything, they are studying. Without, my, without wasting much of your time, allow me say I, I should I start from the extreme or the next to me next to me next, well, next to me eh? <laughs> so introduce yourself Dorin what you do and why you're doing this okay my name hey everyone hey our viewers my name is Dorin Champere on Facebook I'm Dorin Nelly Champere and on Twitter at Dora Nelly K. I'm a sexual reproductive health advocate. I've done this since 2017. And I'm really so passionate about issues concerning young people. I'm also an administrator at an app called Senga, where you send in your questions about sexual reproductive health and we answer you. Plus, we share stories about sexual reproductive health where you can pick some information and share with friends also. So please download the app. Over to you. Thank you very much. I'm uh, Linda Asiliotu Mbok. Uh, I've joined the because I, I joined it I think three months ago. Not three months, three to I'm just making three months now. Uh, and I'm here today because I've had a lot from my friends talking about contraceptives that the stenos, what the challenges they face, what they go through, what such kind of things. So today I had to come here to talk about to share what my friends mm -hmm. told me. And I'm Linda Docas on Facebook, Linda Docas Eladu. Then on Twitter I'm Linda Docas. Then on Instagram I'm Linda Docas. And I think what she didn't tell you is like uh, she's a new digital influencer. She's she's big, so she didn't she didn't want to say that. But let me say it. So, Dorin, uh, if you could briefly tell us what the contraceptive is, at least a little bit of the contraceptive, like so that when we go when we dive into the discussion of the emergency piece, uh, at least someone is aware of what. We are talking about 
Okay, uh, contraceptive basically is, uh, first of all, it's artificial, it's not natural because when we go to natural, we are now talking about family planning methods like withdraw, maybe the calendar method, those are natural family planning methods. But when you go to contraceptives, we are talking about these drugs that are administered into the body to prevent pregnancy. So birth control methods that are artificial. We have examples such as um, IUDs, we have, those are long term, we have implants, we have pills which are short term, we also have injectables which are also short term, three months, and we also have um, those emergency contraceptives which come in when someone has unprotected sex and they want to prevent themselves from getting pregnant immediately. Well, now, uh, Linda, when someone says contraceptive, like maybe from uh, understanding, saying there's so power that they are like family planning methods, talking about the I, I, U, IUD, uh, IUD, maybe other, even the condoms, I think, yeah. Like for you, like what comes to your mind? Okay, what do you, how do you understand like the contraceptives? Contraceptives, to me, I understand it as the various ways of the birth control methods. Like, let me say, like maybe an easier way, like when you have sex, maybe unprotected sex. The easiest way for you, like to prevent the the pregnancy. Or like when you get the pregnancy, some people some people get the pregnancy like after a week, right? So they sometimes there are some tablets that they use to take and like that tablet I hear it helps like you know sperm stays in three three days, right? So three to five days. So those are the pills that they use. So that's how I understand the procedures. Alright, like three to Five, three to five days. I think there are 70, 72 hours, yeah. like the emergency. Yeah. Oh, actually, hours. emergency yeah. contraceptives vary according to brands and the make. So there are some which will prevent a pregnancy up to five days, and those which prevent up to three days. Seventy. So hours. those like for five days. Tell me for the five days, because for for the. For the three days, at least that one I have an idea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, three to five days. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, before I can tell you, our dear viewers, about the five days, I want to first emphasize my point that the earlier the better. Don't wait for five days as you're seated praying, yes, yes. I wish I was not pregnant, I wish I'm not pregnant. Go and get it as soon as possible. So the different brands for five days, um, in Uganda, they are not all that common, but whenever you go to the pharmacy to buy these pills, make sure you open the, the, the pack and read the, is it called the, the, prescription. the prescription inside that paper. But, mm. Most of us just throw it away, yet it has the most, most information we need. So that's how but, you can But another that thing is that even the, you don't need to go to the pharmacy and then you say, I want this. At least it is, it is advisable like for you to have an idea and then you ask the, the doctor or the nurse what is the pill that is suitable for you. Yeah. So now, uh, Dori, if you could tell us some of the, maybe the advantages of uh, this uh, contraceptive, especially the the emergency pills, like you, you did you mention about the postina? Yes, there are so like two of them. Well, before I mention the advantages, I want to first assure you, Frank, that uh, in the reality we have in Uganda, in Kampala, in our pharmacies, when we go to buy these things, these pharmacies just give us and you go, and sometimes those things we are quite ashamed. Ask, so. Hey, I'm from having unprotected sex, you know. So there is that stigma that is associated with from, buying uh, those products. The, the nurses, those people who say that. Yes, in the pharmacy, in the pharmacy specifically, pharmacy. not even in hospitals. It's it's quite convenient because you can talk to someone. 
But you can imagine a pharmacy, everyone is buying. If I do, this one has prescriptions from a hospital, they are buying medicine of 200k, and you're there with your 10k to buy, and you also want to be explained to. But this one is about uh, is about if you are ready for to have a child, I think. Yes, no. if no, 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 wait. If you're ready to have a child, that's when you're going to be like, maybe I'm, I'm going to be ashamed when I'm going to buy. But if Mm -hmm. No, okay, understand my case. I'm talking about a campus, a first year student who is picking an emergency pill because she slept at her boyfriend's house the previous day and they had unprotected sex to prevent a pregnancy. Most times when she goes to the pharmacy, she's young and she's maybe buying from an old woman. She will want to just grab the pack and go away without even asking. Not even that. Like, in most cases, sometimes. Uh, the old woman, let me say the person selling is the medicine. Like they they give you this eye like really your <laughs> dad. And, and, like, like, exactly. and you feel and, like, really your esteem goes down. Exactly. Like, yes. wow. Yeah, so about the advantages, yes, uh, in um, in cases of emergency such as rape, defilement, these pills are used to prevent the pregnancy. It's one thing they'll give you immediately with a prep prevent HIV. So that is one advantage. In case the usual family planning method you've been using, such as an injection, the, yeah, IUD maybe gets an issue, you can also use these emergency pills. They also help in that situation. Then in situations where the condoms break or they slide into maybe, you know, most of our boys and girls do not know how to put on a condom well. I think the next I think it is show, you need maybe. to really show us how. <laughs> no, the, I think the last uh, one month, I had, uh, had, had Ibra, we talked about the condoms and he demonstrated it very well to yes. the viewers. Yes. Maybe if you are saying that we, we redo, yes. yeah, we are going to see because the, the viewers, the people who are there, they are the one who decide, like, at least you can talk about this. Okay. Yeah, so if they really want like to us talk about condoms, we can still talk about condoms. Mm. I think we, we have no issue about this because this show is about disseminating information, it's about giving giving you facts and sharing experience with you and also get two or three things from the show. It's not about like you supposed to get everything on the show. No. Get one thing and go and work on it. That is it. Okay. Yes. So I was still talking about in case a condom breaks, maybe it's like inside the lady during sex and the sperms escape. All those situations, you see the emergency situations. Like something has happened, it was unprepared for. So this helps prevent that unwanted pregnancy. However, our young girls out there are now using it as a regular family planning method. Every time I'll go to Bear's place, I swallow with Postina. Yeah, I'm talking about Postina because it's the commonest, it's that just green the, yes, part. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So it's not really good to use it as a regular family planning method. Yeah. So, have you, because now we are sharing the experiences, uh, Linda, have you ever used or have you ever helped a friend to take? The postina or advise the friend like you maybe now since you had an protected sex and <laughs> and you are not ready for the kid and of course financially and of course you're still a student and of course the mother and the dad are gonna kill you so but this is what I can advise this is what you can do so if you could share with us uh, I think I've ever helped a friend yeah, yeah. to take postina okay she's she was really my close, close friend. But she came to me telling me, Linda, this, this has happened. Condom did this, what and what. She was like, do you mind taking the postinos? So we had to go. We got the postinos for her. And she took them. But she took them, I think, on the second day. And on the postino pack, they always indicate the 72 hours. So that means three days. Eh? Yeah. Not more than three days. So she took them. And she was fine. Then another friend of mine, I think, I think her, she already she already had the pregnancy, but that's not a baby yet. I think that's a baby, something like that. So she took it after a week. But there are some. Of course, we had to go to the clinic where my a nurse will prescribe you the right tablet 
for you to take because that that 72 hours have already left they give you another option for i don't know i don't recall the name of the tab but i remember we got those tabs and they prescribed to her so she followed the the procedures that the nurse told her and she was fine yeah and i think let me not say i've ever taken <laughs> <laughs> So you yeah. you've ever used it? I used once. You once. Yeah. So what was the worry about? Uh, my worry was like, and it was really true to me. I really got stomach ache. I got dizzy. It's not that those tabs did not have side effects. They do. I got dizzy. I got stomach ache as weak. I was so weak like for the whole day, and the menstrual cycle changes. That's the main thing. It has to change whether you like it or not. It has to change. Either it will delay, or you're going to miss your periods for the next month, or it's going to extend by some days. Yeah. And sometimes for it even to extend, some people get stressed. They'll be thinking, maybe I'm pregnant, maybe I'm this, what? And even that tub also can do up when they have the side effects. So your menstrual cycle changes. And you get dizzy. Some people tell you they got skin rash. My friend told me she had a skin rash. For my case, me, I had I had stomach ache, as dizzy, and my menstrual my, my menstrual cycle changed. Okay. Yeah, cool. You've had the facts and you've had the experience. Now the thing is, these are the emergency pills that are taken after having and protected sex don't i think don't take it after maybe before <laughs> before i think sex and then like let me prepare for this no this is these are emergencies that you're supposed to take after that and uh Dorin, if you uh, you tell us like because i know there are misconceptions about these emergency pills that maybe they work maybe they don't work I mean, like of course in the society, the society is the way how it does and of course there is religion and of course there is even culture about these things. So if like you share with us some of the facts of this. Well, some of the facts about these pills is that they, they contribute to preventing the pregnancy when you use them as soon as possible. About 95% on the, within the first 24 hours. So if you are to use this pill, make sure you use it as early as possible. Then another fact is that uh, they contain uh, chemicals, not as chemicals, the bad word, but the chemicals <laughs> that they contain. They prevent pregnancy by delaying ovulation. Sometimes they can delay the ovulation. Then they can also help to prevent implantation in case the egg has already been fertilized. Yes, they can delay by making the, the walls of the uterus slippery. They put a mucus membrane around them. Then they can also, that mucus can also help in prevention of the sperms from moving to go and meet the, what, the egg in the fallopian tubes. So that is about those pills. Then another thing is that uh, Another fact that all of you should always remember is that they are not regular family planning methods. If you know you are having unprotected sex, you trust your man. Please and please get a regular family planning method. There's this misconception now we say family planning is for married people. But as you swallow the pill, you're swallowing the pills, these usual pills. You're, you're the same as a person getting an injection. Because the chemicals are the same. Actually, one piece of Postina, it's 75 milligrams of the that word starts with L, start pronounced, which is equal to a whole pack of these usual pills. Because those usual pills, is, each of them have two grams of that same chemical. So when you're swallowing Postina, you're so the, the same as the person. So the difference is that the other one is a, is a tab and the other one is a, an injection. No, 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 no. There are these tablets, the usual tablets. There is your family planning tablets, yeah? And there is this postina. Now this one is a regular family planning method. So it has fewer concentration of the, chemicals. The regular, the regular family planning method is which one? Is the, the usual tablets. They call them the pills. You know them? I've 
because because the, the thing this? is what is confusing me or maybe yes. what i'm not getting is the regular okay yes so when we are starting talks about regular farming planning yes. methods like yes. condoms yes. implants yes. Yeah. injections and the pills are you this so there are these pills which are in a box there are 30 you swallow each part eh? yes I, I yeah if you can google search about them you'll see them <laughs> yeah, you swallow one per day in the uh, in a, a 24 after 24 hours. If you swallow it 10 a.m. today, then tomorrow 10 a.m. So the problem comes when you swallow this one at midday. Now something will go wrong and you might get pregnant. So when you start those pills, you have to make sure you follow the prescription from the health worker. So I'm trying to compare those pills, the regular ones, and the emergency pill. Okay. So the emergency pill has a higher concentration of drugs because it's coming in in a, a save me situation. So they can't make it in the same way this pill of every day I'm preventing. Yeah. Yeah? They can't do it like as a... Okay, as a so pill. when someone says I can't use family planning because I'm not married, all those things are for women. She's lying to herself because if she's using Costina, she's actually taking the same. Yeah. Being. Okay? So that's how I was saying. Instead of depending on these pills, it's always better for us young people to get a family planning method that will help you to prevent pregnancy. You can use condoms, you can use an IUD, talk to your health worker, go to a health worker. There are places where they can really give you this information. Oh, you can abstain. Oh, you can abstain. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think abstain works. It does because. Uh, if if um, I'm to maybe to say this from the experience, I'm understanding. So, <laughs> why are you all laughing at me? Like, yeah, it really, yeah, it it, it is, yeah, because I'm not complaining, because I know I know there's time when I'm going to have like sex every day whenever I want, and someone is like, yeah, now we can have. We can have it, but I'm talking about the one of the points. Not if for you, you want the other part. Now, and, and, and after, yes, you're abstaining, plus 50 others who are abstaining, <laughs> but me and 100 others, we are not abstaining. So it's better if we don't want to get pregnant. Why are you saying the 50 and then the other one is 100? Because most of us are not abstaining, fuck to this day. So, like you're saying, because I think last week. Last week, uh, last week, about one, we had the conference. We had it was a workshop, I think. It was uh, about the population and the, the it was about the population and hope. So, like, we, and uh, one of the, I think, one of the directors in, in he has an NGO. He says, he said that young people will have sex. Yeah, I do. Nice do you love sex? <laughs> Yeah, it was like yeah, it was like yeah, young people have sex, and 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 this and this it is like it is the fact that we love sex. And let me not like let me not say let me not say that I'm not a young person. I'm a young person, but who is abstaining? So like young people have sex, true. Because when you look at the percentage of the teenage pregnancy, yeah. it is very high. One in every four. Yes. Look at the the HIV. How many how many girls get infected like a week? Say the statistics say it is five hundred girls get infected with HIV. So that shows that we really love sex. But now his point was like, now since we know that they they love sex, what can we do for them? They need the contraceptives, but who needs it? At what age? Right. But I think, mm. to add on yours, I think they need the information first, then they can make those choices. Because I can talk to my 13-year-old brother or sister, and I can't give them a conversation at that time, according yeah, to the Ugandan course. law. No. Yeah, but then, yeah. Yeah. The, if I gave them information and kept following them up, it would help in a way. Yeah. Information is there, right? It is provided, and we do. young people have information because they're exposed to. They have gadgets, right? They have a phone. But you also can have. tell me that someone in the village, maybe a thirteen-year-old, 
can get access to such information about maybe the sex sex education they don't know about it so that's why the bigger the bigger percentage of, of young girls getting pregnant are always from villages because they don't have that information so that's why i say like you cannot just advise her that you start using what for stimulus she doesn't know how to use it even she might swallow it maybe even she has never had that even, even she has never had that <laughs> she has exactly. never even had you tell her use postinos she'll be like hey postinos prevents what pregnancy she can even take it before her what having sex at the end of the day she's pregnant she's also. pregnant and, and she like doesn't know, and she's like so they gave me wrong information yes. and that's why i said i think they need to be educated more about it and they get to know more about the contraceptives and I think the age also will matter like yeah, of you're not going to tell a 13 year old to take postinos I feel like you, like you go and use condom yeah. mm -hmm. so, so it, it is age appropriate yes, age appropriate age information appropriate yeah. information, yeah alright now we are saying that uh, contraceptives they prevent pregnancy yes they do but what about the HIV are we are we also looking at also the HIV side we are looking at the, the pregnancy the pregnancy you've you've prevented it because you've swallowed the pill you've swallowed the the postine and of course you are safe but before you had sex did you think about the HIV status did you go for the test. for the test if you didn't go uh, like the my guests they I want them because I, I, I was going to say this but I want them at least to, <laughs> okay. to come from them like yeah so like um, first of all I want to first emphasize one thing. Yeah, we, when I meet a boyfriend and I think I'm going to date this one and we are going to start having sex, we usually first think about HIV. We go for the HIV test. But have you gone for other... There are very many sexually transmitted infections. And we all know, as advocates right here, that having an STI even increases your risk of getting HIV through sex. So my advice to young people out there is that don't focus on only the HIV. When you go out with your partner to, go to do an HIV test, take that urinalysis, that uh, high vaginal swab, the, all those tests, to make sure you're all STI free. STIs. We can't emphasize only HIV, which is non treatable, and we leave these ones which are treatable because they have a very high adverse. Oh, oh, sorry, they have a very, very um, adverse effect on a person if left untreated. As most of them don't even show signs, they, don't they, show, they yeah. show signs, then they keep quiet, yet they are still there. Then someone get married, fail to give birth, and I think birth, they show STI. signs after some time. Exactly. And those signs usually clear off. The discharge will come, then it stops. Yet now the infection is moving up. It's going to affect maybe, it can lead into... Um, pelvic inflammatory disease which has caused infertility among so many women. So other than HIV preventing the pregnancy, think about those STIs also, our dear viewers. Yeah, and, and, and if like uh, one, maybe had no time, let's, let's add no time for, for the tests, mm -hmm. right? Because they are, they are there, I know. Yeah. Someone will be like, ah. It like, it <laughs> <laughs> like it happened, like it happened, you know, yeah. you, you're like, oh, maybe you are in a situation where like, okay, you're thinking about it, but you're like, eh, this chance is, I lose this chance, and it's going to, like, I can't get another chance. Yeah. So what, what would you tell that person who is in that, who has that kind of mind, like, now this is the opportunity, so since the opportunity is here, let me not do what? Let me not waste it, let me use it. Well, I think you shouldn't let that opportunity rain your life because even after 20 years, you'll not be still be feeling that sweetness. So please go get yourself a condom. It prevents, if used well, 
it will prevent you from getting an unwanted pregnancy, it offers dual protection, unwanted pregnancy and STI. So get a condom at least if you're in that emergency. Oh my God, I can't wait, I can't miss this situation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and uh, when Linda was talking about, when she was sharing the experience, she talked about um, some of the side effects of this like she talked about the dizzy, like sleeping, like you vomit. Yeah, I wanted you like at least you add more and like yeah, if the dizzy side. Effect. Oh, okay. Uh, those side effects usually come according to each one's body. Even when we use, when we use usual family planning methods, if I got in injectables, the side effects I would get would not be the same, should get because our bodies are different. So, yeah, those side effects are there, but they vary from person to person. And sometimes, from my own experience, when you open that, those uh, tabs that have two pills, you're supposed to swallow one, then after 12 hours, you swallow another. So, Dear me, according to my experience, <laughs> I saw the two at once. I know that I got a fair share of my side effects. I was home, in bed. I wouldn't even move because of the heavy wait, cramping. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. You, you swallowed two? At once. At once. Because I didn't read the other description. And you, you went to the pharmacy or a drug shop? I went to a pharmacy just grabbed it from the counter and the, to come the and person didn't tell you they usually don't realize do they tell they, they think you know exactly most of by the them. time you come to buy it of course you know the use of it so most of them they don't even tell you that actually they, they just one. write they two times one they, they keep quiet <laughs> I, I was seeing my friend's park it had two times one as far as she knew two once okay she saw that once so it brings that, that even increases the intensity of the side effects. Yeah. All right. We've had the misconceptions, we've had the side effects of this emergency period. So it is, it is up to you to decide. Like I always tell my friends, like, before you, you go for sex, or maybe, yeah, of course, the, the sex is inevitable. Yeah. But before you go, at least have a plan, right? Uh, look at the consequences and look at, uh, look at the aftermath. Like, don't just like, yeah, you say like, you say like, um, right now, this is an opportunity and then like, you don't think about what is going to happen tomorrow, yeah, yeah later. So let's, let us always think about what, is hap what will happen tomorrow and then at the end of the day, of course, we are going to live um, a good lifestyle where there is no HIV. Like at least it can, we can make sure that it, 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 uh, it declines. We can do that. It reduces. We can do that as long as we follow the procedures. If you are not tested for HIV, if you don't know the person's status, there's condom. Like, I, I, I always talk about the kiss column and, and, and one of my friends, like, he came to my inbox, was like, yeah, Frank, but you talk about kiss condoms, are you, I'm like, yeah, I, since we are sharing the experience, <laughs> and, like, I use that, I use the kiss condoms at, I think, one day, and they are really good. They are good for me. For, they work for me, and, and <laughs> they work for me, and and I, and I got a chance. The guys gave me the I'm a, I'm a, I'm a kiss condom brand influencer ambassador. So when you see my boss talking about condoms, it's out of the experience, and of course I'm also making the awareness of the condoms and safe sex. So, um, I think the time, let me see the time, the time is, uh, yeah, it's not, it's against us, yeah, it's against us, and I know it is a Sunday, it's a, what do you do in a, on a Sunday, a Sunday evening, what do you do? Family time, <laughs> my children, 
have so you have you have kids, you have uh, I help them now it's holiday time we do holiday package. Okay. Yeah. So when you are when you are you are doing parenting. Yeah. And but you, you are young and uh, you are doing But I must wait and ovulate so I can get pregnant and that too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're bad from that. So what do you do read down uh, Sunday evening like in, after this show where are you going? Like are you going to for the overnight, maybe in church, go praise and worship, you go get book, maybe go get friends, you do games. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Sunday like this so I get prepared for Monday, work, such things. And maybe evening hours, chill with friends. Yeah. What do you talk about when you chill with friends when you with friends? Like maybe if you don't mind, you can just... I catch up with a friend, a few friends of mine, like, we rarely meet up, so like, on a Sunday, like, sometimes we decide, we like, hey, you come to my place, let's have maybe evening tea together, or something like that. Yeah, and we share stories, yeah. how you grew up together, such kind of things. Mm. Yeah. Alright. One, she with friends, talk about, it's been a while, not meeting, but talk about life, of course, the future, we, because sometimes they say, the friends that we meet, or we go every day, we hang out with, they shape our future, right? Yeah. If you know you have, you have friends that always uh, talk about in the negative side, who don't encourage you, you can go, you can do this, you can do this, then that means you are in a, you are not in the right place, so you are supposed to look for where you are supposed to be. So as we close the show, I think I will start from uh, Linda, what advice would you give a young person who is there, who is like, yeah, Abstain is yeah I know I'm supposed to abstain but it, but still I feel like the body demands the body is demanding right but I'm also struggling also not to not the body to, to control me right me to control the body but not the body but like what would you tell that person like who is out there like what he's supposed to do what he's supposed to do since the body is it's making her, it's making him uncomfortable, like, yeah, go and go for it, explore, like, you know. Uh, I think I would advise a young person who is watching us right now, uh, I would tell you that I know our body demands, and it's normal, very normal. Yeah, yeah. Sure. But you need to use, at least try to use a condom, because nowadays people fear pregnancy than than HIV. So to me, I think I would advise you to use a condom because I think a condom is 90% safe, something like that. But don't don't have it in mind that, yeah, I'm going to be using postinos because some postinos I hear they are not, they're not the right one. Yeah, but so even the news, I think last month they had like the, the some Chinese who were selling fake, yeah, fake drugs. Fake drugs so. Yeah, so I, I would advise a young because when they now start using things like pills, what it has side effects also, so it wouldn't be a good thing for a young person to abstain, use condoms. And of course, if a relationship be faithful to him, to her, <laughs> so do it. Well. Um, I want to pass so much from Linda because that is the message we are giving out. No one ever died because of abstaining. So you can <laughs> abstain. Yeah, yes. Like France. Yes. Like then yeah, my next when you example. Use, uh, and another thing, when you use condoms, use them correctly and consistently. Yeah. Not today is Sunday, we shall use them tomorrow. And then tomorrow mm. you I'll don't. note, yeah. That's one problem that is affecting us. And um, another thing is that emergency contraceptives are not regular contraceptives. 
only use them once. And uh, actually, in the pack, they tell you, in case you found yourself using this one, please go talk to your health, health provider mm -hmm. so they can give you maybe a regular one. So my advice to young people is that abstain correctly and consistently use those condoms and be in healthy relationships. No one ever got an award for being the giver of, of sex to everyone. The, 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 I think the award. <laughs> the, one, the, one, the award comes in when uh, you get the unplanned pregnancy. I'm saying unplanned, unwanted, right? Mm -hmm. you get and the HIV. In the now wait, 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 let me finish. Okay. And then the HIV infection, you get like the HIV. At the end of the day, now you are, you are living in the life of regrets. Oh, yeah. Now you're getting my point. Yeah. yeah so. Don't live in the life of regrets. Live the life that you really created, that you're planning, that you really want to be in. Don't be in the, the life of regrets. So for now, from the... Eh, so. And before we can say bye, I feel we need to share. Don't listen and keep the information alone. Oh, yeah, you yeah. go, share with us. <laughs> and if you're young, we are not saying that use condoms so you're going to have sex with Regulate yourself. Don't have <laughs> sex all the time. You're still young. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and abstain. Mm -hmm. Like I said, like you're talking about the sex. Sex is not going anywhere. Yeah. Just give it time. Mm -hmm. Give exactly. it time. Uh, focus on what you want. Focus on books if you are still in school. Studies. Like books first. Yeah, yeah books first and then things will come later. And you'll see... Right now you are struggling to be maybe in a relationship, maybe to have that girl that you really want. But at the end of the day when you're done with school, you're done with books, maybe you have a job, you're having a job right now, you're working. Things still, they, they, you see they start coming on your side. So how, give it time. Uh, you see have... No. And no. So from the production team, the graphic guy, David, thank you for doing the great job behind the camera and all the production people. And uh, Timothy, thank you for everything. And of course, our viewers, our friends who support the hustle, who, who are there like, yeah, what you're doing is okay, who keep encouraging me. Like, Frank, today we didn't see the show, what is happening? Today we started a little bit because, you know, it rained in the morning and of course, people are coming from far to come this side so that's why so that's why we've started late our apologies on behalf of the team the production and the, the other people but for now your host Garanga Frank and the guests we say have a good evening bye bye catch you next bye. Thursday and abstain and abstain that is the last word <laughs> Ah. All right, work. So, so thank you guys. No, you've got you've cancelled it. Thank you guys. The other side, they have a laptop. So let's have a video. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I look like one to one. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> no. You look like that. Of course I will no, do it for you. Uh, me. I will. <laughs> well, we've... We <laughs> I knew. I knew. I knew. I knew.